गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू एल के मी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स एज वी ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द वेदर कंडीशन ऑफ हिमालयन रेंजेस द हायर हिमालयन रेंजेस इज टू कोल्ड एंड द मिडल हिमालयन रेंजेस इज कोल्ड बट द समर सीजन ऑफ दैट मिडल हिमालयन रेंज इज टू प्लेजेंट सो पीपल वॉन्ट टू एन्जॉय दैट सो दैट इज वाई मेनी टूरिस्ट बेगान विजिट प्लेसेस लाइक मनाली शिमला दार्जिलिंग इन द समर सीजन एंड वी लर्न दैट द मानसून सीजन इज गुड इन द आउटर हिमालय नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट वेजिटेशन ऑफ वेजिटेशन इन द हिमालय वील टेक अ लुक अगेन एज अ रिकैप्चुलेशन एंड लेटर वी विल डिस्कस आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सो the vegetation in himalaya as we learn the greater himalaya due to extreme cold condition there is a little vegetation in this region shrubs mosses linches and wild flower uh, grows here next the middle himalayas trees like pan oak pop poplar walnut spruce fir creepers and bridge grows here this region is also famous for orchards of apples peaches pears plum cherries and almonds plants such as sherdens grow here and now the outer himalaya because of no, the weather condition of our outer himalaya it is not too cold and not too hot broadleaf forest and evergreen forest cover this region trees like kikar sal oak teak and bubble grows here in large number now now today we are going to learn wildlife in the himalayas before we start discussing about it we'll see a video related to wildlife in the himalayas i'm going to show the video please watch it carefully animals in the himalayas the northern mountain range or the himalayas is the highest mountain range in the world do you think any animal can stay in these mountain ranges let's find out ajay and akash are discussing about their holiday trips ajay tells to akash akash this time i will go to goa during the holidays akash replies ajay that's great i will go to manali this time i wonder whether any animal lives there in the cold himalayas yes there are animals i can tell you about them and how they survive in the extreme cold animals like leopards musk deer red pandas wild sheep yaks golden langurs hyenas jackals asian elephants royal bengal tigers and one horned rhinoceros are found in the himalayas animals like snow leopards musk deer red pandas and wild sheep live in the greater himalayas animals such as yaks and golden langurs are found in the middle himalayas the forests in the outer himalayas are home to hyenas jackals asian elephants royal bengal tigers and one horned rhinoceroses akash says to ajay wow so there are different animals in the different ranges of the himalayas but do people see them often during their visits in these places Ajay replies No Akash this is because most of the animals are rarely found as these animals were illegally hunted in the past you can see them in the national parks and wildlife reserves There are many national parks and wildlife reserves in the northern mountains they protect animals and plants animals can live freely in the forest The different national parks in the Himalayas are the Great Himalayan National Park, Jim Corbett National Park, Kaziranga National Park and Hemis National Park. 
Now, Akash got a fair idea about the animals in the Himalayas and made a plan to visit one of the national parks to see these animals. So students, we have learned many things from this video. Then also we are going to discuss through our course book. So open your course book and read wildlife in the Himalayas. Animals like snow leopard, must be a red pandas and wild sheep live in the Himalaya. Many types of birds such as black neck train and the Himalayan quails give, live here. Animals such as yak, golden langurs are found in the middle Himalaya. The forests in the outer Himalayas are home for henna, jackal, Asian elephants, Royal Bengal tiger, and one horned rhinoceros. So these all animals are living here. But animals like snow leopard, musk deer, red panda are living in greater Himalaya. And animals like birds like black crane, Himalayan quails live in the middle Himalaya. And some animals like yak and golden langur found in the middle Himalaya. And in the outer Himalaya, outer Himalaya is a home for henna, jackal, Asian elephant, royal Bengal tiger and one horned rhinoceros. These all, as we seen in the video, were no, are not able to move freely because people were, earlier people were hunting them were illegally without any reason. Many people are having passion to kill animals and that is illegal. So that is why government of India is pro make national park and reserves to protect this kind of animals because nowadays this kind of animals are rare in numbers. So to protect them there are many national parks and wildlife reserves in the northern mountains. They are protected areas where plants and animals can live freely. The Great Himalayans National Park, Jim Corbett National Park, Kaziranga National Park and Hemis National Park are some of the national park. So this all animals are rare animals now because earlier people were hunting them. So this all kind of national park provide them space to move freely and protect them from human beings. It's our duty also if we see them moving freely anywhere, not in the national park, anywhere on the earth, so we will not hurt them. Because they are also living beings and they are having right to live properly. So in today's class we have learned that wildlife in the Himalaya. How animals also surviving in the extreme cold weather and how government is protecting them.